Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. Today we have something very special and the most anticipated tool that I think Ryobi has ever came out with. This is the brand new Ryobi Link mobile tool storage system. So today we're not going to be just talking about it and using it. I'm going to try to destroy them. So stick around because we're going to douse them with water. We're going to throw them off tables. I'm going to jump on them and I'm not a small guy. So let's go ahead and jump into So first things first, let's go ahead and jump into the main selling points for this, at least what Ryobi is advertising it for. It is part of the link connection so you can take these boxes off and you can put them right on a shelf. Next, it can hold up to 200 pounds. It is impact resistant. It has 9 inch all terrain wheels. It has a telescoping handle and it is IP65 which is water and dust resistance. Well, we're going to test all that out today. so. Let's go ahead and start talking a little bit about it. And in order to do that, let's go ahead and take this off. How I have to take this off is, let's do a close up. First you have to, let me pull the handle up so you can see, press that button in, and then it lifts straight off. So it's not a sliding system. And I think you're gonna see that better once we take this one off. So you press this button down here, press it in, it lifts straight off. But let's take a look below and see how that works. You see these little, I'll call them uh, little teeth. You just press that down and it just interlocks. Now pushing it back down on here, there's not really pushing. You just set it here and it snaps right in by itself. So that's nice. You don't have to really finagle with it or do anything weird. It just kind of snaps together, which is really convenient. But let's go ahead and take a look inside here. It just has a very typical latch. Nothing wrong with it. It opens fine, it closes fine, same thing there. When we look on the inside it does have a bit holder here. Now I'm not sure if I like this right now because that means you can just put your own little bits in there. So if you have one of these right here, you can just take one of them. Let's just take this little bit holder in here. It's kind of hard to see, I know, I'm sorry. We're going to pop it out to see how easy it goes in. So you can see it's in there and that's how that works and it can just tilt out. Not sure if I'm a big fan, it would be nice if these could just latch into the top of it up here somewhere and then you're able to use it. So as we look at the lid already you can see that it's reinforced um, so it's not encapsulated but just reinforced on the bottom of it with a lot of cross sections. Uh, the gasket here is actually adhered into the unit itself and that feels like a uh, just extruded foam that's in there. If we take a look on the inside, you can see we have just a little tray that sits right down in here. So that can sit there. You can have another set of trays that sit in there. And that's just two of the links that hold that in. And it's pretty deep. And then also, I didn't know if you noticed, but the top is staying open by itself. So it does have a lock right about here. And that stays open. So if we take a look at the back side, you can see these uh, two screws right here hold in this handle. Uh, the handle doesn't inspire too much confidence. Okay, so much it's made to come out, so you can store this permanently if you want. It does have a foot placement here, so you can go ahead and put this and tilt it if you need. Over here it has a couple bungee cord um, holders here, so you can throw something over top of it and really uh, push it in. Uh, if we turn it to the side, you can see these are the wheels. And there are 9 inch wheels, that looks about right. Yep, um, and then you have two handles here. The handles do have rubber over molding on them. The top handle also has rubber over molding here. You can see that right here, so that feels just fine. And then on the front of it, you can see right here, this is a uh, hole for a lock. So you've got that too. You can see that this has the uh, links here. But one of the questions that I had, does the base unit have the links on the bottom? And no, it does not. That makes sense too, because you probably don't want to put this on your wall. It's probably going to weigh just a lot more 
than what you would want it to weigh. Okay, let's go ahead and get the testing started. Well, it seems to be all together. I don't see any physical brakes on it, so let's put it back up here. Seems to be an all-one piece. I think most of the weight went right here, so let's take a look at this. It's still kind of locked. It has a couple little scratches. You can see that? A little scratches here and there, but I think it fared pretty well. Locks in just fine. All right, I'm not going to step on the sides. Let's just do it right in the middle. One, two, three. No problems. I'm bouncing. Like I said, I'm 230 pounds. Not a little person. Bouncing on this one too. Right in the middle, one foot. Get all that pressure right in the center. Yeah, it's not breaking. All right, let's see if they still latch. All right, that's good. It's latched in. Okay, that's latched in too. Okay, so one of the things that really bother me about some of these tool carts is the fact that I roll it, it gets caught on wood and stuff like that. So we're gonna roll it through a very unrealistic amount of wood just to see if we can get it caught up to see if it will slide over it easily. So I think that went pretty well. It did get caught a couple times, but the wheels did all right and I was able to make it through and it didn't actually get stuck because I was able to push it back and forth. So I was really satisfied with that and pleasantly surprised, but there is one thing that does kind of pique my curiosity. How does it go up and down stairs? So let's do that now. It actually does really good on stairs. Surprising. Okay, so we're outside right now, or at least we have the garage door open. I'm gonna take the power scrubber, the power wash, the portable one. I'm gonna spray this thing down as much as I can. Let's get it separated. Let's see if it is actually water resistant. I know it's not rated to be, you know, for a little power washer, but it's not a test if we don't try something past its limits. <laughs> Put it on turbo. <sighs> okay, so let's go ahead and check out the inside. I have not done anything to this. I just washed it. Oh, nice. Look at this. Let me unhook it. Look at that. It's completely dry. The only water that is in there is from where I just opened it and it dripped off the ledge. Here, come a little closer. Okay, so. It's completely dry, which is awesome. The seal is wet on this side, but not on this side. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. All right, see, this one's dry too. So I set them sideways um, in different positions because I wanted you to see, you know, the water hitting it from different sides. 
Okay, so you can see there's water right here. Maybe it's, let me scoot this back. There's water right here, but that's just where that ridge is. So you have a ridge that goes up into the seal. Oh, that's where I knocked this thing over. Oh, check this out. Look at this. It's, it was still in place because the top was holding it there. But, um, you know, this is okay. Got a little bit of water in here from when I opened it. Um, there is a couple drips in here. Uh, like right here, I do have one drip in there. All right, let's check out the bottom one. Take this off. Oop, still locked. There we go. All right, so here's this one. Still has a ton of water on top of it, as you can see. Let's pour that off here. Okay. There we go. All right, and this one is dry. Look at that. That's really nice. So let's take a look inside. It's dry, so that's awesome. All right, everybody, so you've seen me test it out. You've seen me throw it to the floor, put it over unrealistic ex uh, ex expectations of rolling it over wood. You've seen me pressure wash it. You've seen me do go up and down stairs. You've seen me talk about this. So what are my final thoughts on this new system? Well, i got to say, one thing I love about it, it's made right here in the United States of America, which is awesome. I love seeing that come back over here. For that one reason, I will support this uh, tool storage system. But that's not the main reason. That's a great reason. I think that it does what it's supposed to do. I think it's very convenient. I think at the price point, all three boxes that I got, it was $180. Now that may seem expensive, but consider this. Go try out a Milwaukee one. See how much you're going to pay. It's probably going to be right around three hundred dollars or more. Uh, the quality is here. You know what this can do. I put it through its test. It still works. And I think for the everyday person, the ability, the versatility of this particular system to be able to throw it around, to have it just hanging out. Tools, uh, you can take it on your job site, use it around your house. Just regular tool storage. I think it's awesome. I think the plastic it's good. It's not too rigid, uh, so it's not just going to shatter, so it is flexible, which is very, very good. I think the mechanical interlocking system is nice. You don't have to push it in and slide it and click it back and slide it out. It's one button. You pull it straight off. You can do it with your thumb and the handles. Um, so I think that Ryobi has hit something great, and I hope that they stick with it, just like they've sticked with their OnePlus battery for over 20 years now. Here's a con. This is my one con about this so far. When I try to set it down like this, now which people, you wouldn't think that they set it down on its side, but for me, yeah, I'm going to set this down on its side just like this uh, with my tools because it's easier to pick up. Well, the bottom of it's angled, so kind of just flips over there. So this one stands up a little bit easier. On its own, that's because it's wider, but this one, it's a little skinnier and it doesn't do that as well. But if we just put them together, like they're meant to be, just like that, well, they're going to stand up all day long, but they're supposed to be vertical and not horizontal. So, everybody, I hope this video is what you were looking for with going up and down stairs and trying to destroy it. I hope that if you're right on the verge of buying this or not buying it, or if you're not even thinking about it, or you're switching to go to the Ryobi system, well, maybe this gave you the information that you needed to go to it or maybe to go somewhere else. It's all about education here. So, everyone, if you did like it, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. That really does help the channel. And, hey, I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care.